Good morning, y'all. Welcome to my Skywatch 2 channel. We have a beautiful sunny day here in Charleston, South Carolina. And um, I'm going to start part nine of this 22-pound jewelry box. We have some necklaces and earrings to go, and then we are done. But let's see how long it's going to take me to get done. <laughs> here is a pretty little necklace. It's in gray and black pretty glass beads. The chain is even silver and black, which is very nice. It's tagged with uh, Charming Charlie's. I think this is a very pretty necklace they did. I like that a lot. I love black and silver too, and grays. Um, the next necklace is a silver tone necklace. It's got a lobster claw clasp and a bonus hair to boot. Let me get the bonus hair out. I thought we got all that stuff out. Okay, I think I got it. It's in great shape. Pretty clasp. Pretty rope chain and gold tone. I guess it's gold tone. I haven't tested it. And look at this pendant. Now, it's missing a pearl here, and I do have a pearl that fell out that goes with that I'm going to put back on. There's the back side. This necklace is in excellent condition and it's just beautiful. There again. I just think that is gorgeous. So let's see if the chain is magnetic. Oops. Yes, it's slightly magnetic. And so it's a pendant, but it's just beautiful. And the gold on this is a buttery, pretty gold. It really looks like it's real gold. And that's The pendant's a good size. It's probably two inches or more from the top of the bell down. I just love that. Gorgeous. The next item is a silver and long necklace, layering necklace. You've got a long extender with a bead. It's got a lobster claw clasp. It's premier designs. Here's the chain. You've got these stations, and these look like onyx. Now, they may not be, but they have that look of silver and onyx. Very pretty. I believe those are cold too. Oh yeah, they're very cold. Whoops, it's magnetic. But that's a pretty little necklace. And you could layer it that with other necklaces. Now this I was thrilled to get. I thought it was a Kim Rogers at first. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? That pendant, there's the back. Here's the like Rollo chain, very nice Rollo chain. Very long necklace. And here's the lobster claw clasp. And here is the tag. And what do you see? Now I thought it was Kim Rogers at first until I really took a good look at the tag. That is Zapata. So this is a Silpata piece. It's missing one stone here, one CZ, which I also have it, and I'm gonna put that back in and then it will be perfect. It's got a um, antique silver look on it, which really enhances it with these stones and so forth. That's just beautiful. So I got me a Zapata piece, and I was real thrilled with it. The next piece is a little rosary. There's your cross, and here are the beads. And here's the snap on this. I'm thinking this is broken. Yes, this is broken, because the snap, sh I mean the closure, the lobster claw should be at the top. But that's what it looks like. Made more like a Y necklace now.
Here's another piece. This is for your eyeglasses. Hold your eyeglasses. And it's made of that, um, oh, I forgot the kind of clay, but it's a type of clay. Little flowers. Look at that. Isn't that cute? More flowers. That one's pretty. Looks like candy. Something like Christmas candy. That's really cute. Here's another beautiful piece that I absolutely love in gold tone, believe it or not. Pave rhinestones and a tassel at the end. I think that is gorgeous. It's double chained. And you have a lobster claw clasp. And here is the tag. And that looks like Lily to me. What does it look like to you? Again, put it up close again. I like the tag. Looks like L I L L I Lily Futzler. Looks like there's a P on the end with just the letter swished out. So that's beautiful. Loving that. And it's not magnetic. None of it. So I'll be testing that one. That's beautiful. There's another really pretty piece. Look at this glass stone here on the bottom. Kind of looks grayish or blue, grayish blue when the no, it looks really blue when the sun, when the light goes through it. Got these little glass beads up top here. And it's wire wrapped. Love the chain. Continues with these little crystal pieces. Just beautiful. And it's got a lobster claw clasp. It's in great shape. Had some beautiful long necklaces in the slot. Next one is a layered necklace, cascading necklace of chains. It's a lobster claw clasp with an extender. You have three chains. You got the dash and dot, the snake-like chain, and then just the pure dot chain. And they're different lengths, as you can see. Very pretty necklace. No tag. Almost looks like the Sapata design, doesn't it? That's what I thought of when I first saw it. Let's see, what do we got here? It wasn't connected. Hubby thought it was one long necklace. It is multi layered. Let's see if I can get it untwisted. Yeah, it's doubled layer, silver tone, lobster claw clasp, an extender with the bead, nice medium sized change with these stations. Well, that sure does look like the Sapata design almost, doesn't it? I don't see any tag. Next necklace is a tassel necklace. And silver tone, little beads, silver and black beads. They're cold. You have a double oh, lobster claw clasp here, which means it might have gone on a a shirt that had the little tabs in it, or you can wear it separate. It's very nice length. No tag. The next one, I think I grabbed two. Okay, let me put one back. 
Next one is a Charming Charlie's with an extender and lobster claw. It's got the tag. It's got three colored chains here. You've got silver, a bronzy, and a, no, silver, a, well, I'm not real sure. It kind of graduates in color here, too. So let me just let you look at it. It looks like silver, bronze, and gold color here. But on this side, it looks different. And watch it as it changes. It goes darker, 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 and then it gets lighter again. And lighter and lighter. So it's a very interesting necklace. Let's see if I can untwist it here. So it might lay a little nicer. That's what it looks like. So I'm not really sure what to think of this necklace. I don't know if it's tarnished. Or if it's supposed to be multi-colored like that, because it sure looks like it up here. Let's see. It's very magnetic. So I think it's designed to be like that. Very different. The next one was this one. There's no tags. It's got a long extender on it with a lobster claw clasp. It's double chained, so it's going to be double layered or cascading. And the gold brushed beads and the, I think these are acrylic. And then you have your solid glossy shiny gold and brushed gold. Very pretty. Next one has a pendant, cobalt blue and beautiful little rhinestones. Here's the back. I believe that this is enamel, but it's very pretty. Lobster claw clasp with an extender with a bead. There we go. Very pretty. Long, long necklace. Here's one, it's gold tone, brushed gold and shiny faceted gold. You have a lobster claw clasp with an extender and it's got LC on it. Whoop. Come back here, where did you go? Oh. It's very pretty. Love the design. There we go, here's a but you can see that, LC. These are definitely metal, they're not light. Very pretty. Not magnetic. None of it's magnetic. How about that? So what could that be? I'll have to test it. Okay, here's another one. I thought this one was pretty. It's very, um, you would have to wear it on a dress that's a solid color because it's just beautiful. Now let me get this untwisted so we can see it. Look at this. Here's the tassel in. Beautiful filigree work on that. Very large. Then you have these two stations of filigree work. It's multi-stranded. It's in great shape. It's got an extra large lobster claw and extender with a bead. The extender chain is even substantial. It's got one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine chains. That is a beautiful necklace. And on the right outfit, it would be stunning. I love silver too. Okay. The next long necklace we have is this one. It is. 
Avenue. It's got an extender with a bead on the end. It's silver tone with gold hearts. And they the hearts are um, tarnished or either rubbed off one or the other. So I'm going to put this in the craft lot, but I'm going to have to bag it first. Next one is a shorter necklace, multi layers, silver tone with an extender with a bead. Here's your ends. It's hooked like that, and then here's the beads. Let me get these untangled. The knot. But here it is. These are very cold, so these are glass, I believe. Yeah, they're cold. Whoa, that is the magnet getting tangled up in that. Sorry about that. Here we go. Very pretty necklace. Silver and black. Here's a little tag necklace, like an ID tag. Grandmother of a soldier, U.S. Army, I love you. That makes me sad because I think maybe Grandma may not be here. She was proud to be a grandma of a soldier. Very sweet. Love this. It's an infinity necklace. There's no clasp. And sometimes I like that, you know. And here's the tassel at the end. Look at these beads. And they're glass. Crystal, I think. With a little tag. It's a very long necklace. Like I said, it's an infinity. No wear. Just beautiful. And then right behind it, we have this necklace that's the pull-type closure. It's missing the bead on the end of this. That wouldn't stop me from wearing it. And here is... These are opaque gray stones in a silver setting. Just beautiful. Just love those. Very pretty. And that chain is really silky feeling. I don't know if it's magnetic or not. We'll try it. No, it's not magnetic. Now these spring rings are. I'm going to have to test that. It's cool. The next one we have is Gunmetal color with an extender, the beautiful red beads and black beads, even black rhin—I mean red rhinestones in there. There's not really black beads. I think they're gray beads. Those are gray. Gunmetal color, not gray. It's a multi-strand. Another pretty necklace. This necklace has an extender with a tag and a bead, clear bead, and there's the tag. I'm not sure who this is. I'll have to look it up. If anybody knows, let me know. It looks like two intertwined bees, but I don't know. Maybe not. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Beads on this are lovely. The red, and the milky opal looking colored moonstone. This one looks like, um, 
labradorite, but it's not, but it has that look. And these are just beautiful. The fasting on them, and then some are cabochon smooth. Just to get a closer look at that. That one has a tiger eye look to it. That's just beautiful. Okay, it's magnetic. This part's not, but the extender is. Beautiful. The next necklace is also beautiful, heavy, cold, so we're looking at metal and probably stone or and glass, rhinestones. It has a little bit of all. I love the colors on this. Would look great with a lot of colors that you may wear. Complimentary. That's beautiful. I'll take a look at that. Is there a clasp? Looks like it's an infinity necklace. I don't think I saw a clasp. No. Very pretty. The next one is... It's on leather cord. It looks very clean. No wear on the metal. Lobster claw with an extender. And look at those beads. Those are just yummy. That is beautiful. Camel color. Gorgeous. I love this. Very pretty. Sorry about that. That was my... um daughter-in-law and we're going to go see Frozen, me and Fiona and Samantha and Becky. So I'm looking forward to that. That was the last of the necklaces. So the only thing I have left is this pile of earrings. So I'll just do them out right here. There's those loops. That's a match. And I have cards I want to put these on. And these... Look at those. Those are beautiful. I don't know what they're made of. And these are very pretty too. They've got a marbly looking, and these are acrylic loops. So these are very, very light earrings. They would not be weighty on the ears, but they're very pretty in the color combination. I love the gray with the gold tone. This, I have a necklace that matches these, if you remember. So I'll keep those out to go with that necklace. We have these. We have these little hoops with the little bird. And the um, bird has a, or fish. That's a fish, I believe, with the little eye there for a rhinestone. We have these filigree silver tone earrings. They're in great shape. We have these pretty little earrings. They remind me of bells. Very pretty. Love these um, earrings here. They look vintage, but they're pierced. Very pretty. Here's some little pearl teardrop earrings in gold tone. Here's some little enamel bows. That reminds me of Christmas. Be cute. Wear that with a red top. Alright, let's see if I can get the matches out. It gets harder and harder. Nope. There's this. 
That's, those are cool earrings. And this goes with that necklace that I showed earlier with the creamy colored. I don't think I see any writing in there. Wait a minute, I do right here. So this may tell me what that necklace was because the necklace wasn't... That says Napier. So I don't know where that necklace was. Where I put it exactly. And I don't see it right off the top of my head, but those go with the necklace. I'm going to put them down here. Here's some little heart earrings. They're a little discolored. Have copper showing through. I love these rawr dinosaurs. Too cute. My grandson would, Easton would love seeing his Grammy wear those. Gold tone earrings. There were a lot of earring matches in this box, which I was thrilled. There's these. I don't know if that's silver or not. It's, it's got a tarnished look to it. Have these clips. Clip on. Those are acrylic beads. Have these pretty little feather earrings. Now this one's missing its uh wire thing, but that's not a problem. Let me get the big ones out of here. Oh, I love these. Look at these wings. Is that not beautiful? I love the silver on that. Those are in great shape. And we have these little teardrops, hoop earrings teardrop shape. I have them mixed in because that's broke. This is broken. So I'll probably put those in the craft lot. Go ahead and do that now. Like these. The feather thing going on here in red. Beautiful. They're pierced. Love those. Oh, here's another pair that I absolutely loved. And they're Monet's. They're blue crystal on these sides, and they clear in the center. And all the stones are there. That's Monet's. These were pretty cool. They made me think of the sun. I don't know why, but they just do. I like the design on that. They're clip-ons. They're paola. Not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but it's P-A-O-L-O. -O. I think he's a good designer, too. There's a little bit of scuffing on this. No, it's dirt. It's coming off. Very pretty. Great shape. These are pretty. These are unusual hoops here. With the blue and the right. This is what they look from the front view. This is what they look from the back. But they got the crystals inside here. This one's got wear on it there. But this one, and this one does too on this side. Those wear against the face, I guess. But I have to clean those up. Here's some very light, antique looking um, hoop earrings that need cleaning. Here's some pierced earrings that are very lightweight. Here's piercing. And I'm trying to find that 
notches. Here's one missing its its uh Yeah, that one's put on wrong too. Anyway, I'm gonna have to fix these, but these would be wire earrings. Oh, this is pretty. These are clips. Gold and black enamel clip earrings, half hoops, or J hoops, some people call them. Can't tell if that's something written on there or not. Doesn't appear. But there they are. Oh, I like these. You know, I like sparkly. They're simple. And the wires are worn. But I like the beads. Here's some more, I would say, leaf earrings maybe, or feather. No, oh, maybe feather. I'm not sure. Here's some little French wire earrings in purple. Here's the backs. They're in great shape. Some pretty colors in these earrings. Here's some pretty hoops. They're small, but they're bold. Very nice. I don't see any writing in there. Here's some little earrings in gold tone. The backs, they're not marked, French wires. Guys, I'm going to stop it here. I want to thank you for watching my video. We have a few more earrings to go through, and so probably the ninth video is going to be the end of this. So um, stay tuned. Come back to see what else I have in the earring lot in this 22 pounds and thank you for watching my videos and see you in the next video bye now